We're a couple of weeks into 2023. Uh, about a week and a half ago, I did a video reviewing 2022 uh, for the channel and for my own personal writing and how I've got on. I'm going to look forward into 2023, what my aims and goals are for this year in a little while in this video, but I'm also going to cover off your guys' comments from how you got on in 2022 and what your goals and aims are for 2023. Before I start though, I have got a little bit of a cough. I apologize for that. There might be a couple of uh, jump edits in this video, just cutting out where I've uh, had a bit of a coughing fit. I don't know where it's come from again. Seems to be never ending at the moment. But also I will be looking off to the side of my phone where I will be reading off your messages and comments from that video. So let's get started. First up is Andy Mott. And he says, hi Matt, not many goals for me in 2023. Getting married in October. I want to lose the gut so to look decent in my wedding pictures. Uh, so losing weight is my number one target. Also improve my fitness and get into the C category for races. Congratulations on getting married in October. Uh, hopefully the run up to the wedding will go well and <laughs> nice and smoothly. And good luck on losing some of the weight and getting fit as well. And definitely good luck on getting to that C category. Something that I seem to not be getting any closer to but through nobody's fault but my own. So yeah, good luck with that Andy. Next up we have Daniel C. Marks. Just revisited the goals for this year. I've done, I've gone into a little more detail here in the previous comment that I put on a recent video. Apologies if I missed that. Uh, a few pluses, got the Tron bike by putting a lot of effort into climbing in the latter part of the year. During periods of the year, I drank less alcohol, although nothing sustained. Still quite good though. Uh, I'd like to improve this though. Good luck with that. Watts per kilogram have improved in the second part of the year, but I'm still not a C. My watts dipped when I focus on climbing rather than racing. That's interesting. I've never thought about how uh, different types of riding can affect you know, what's per kilo and what you're used to riding and, and efforts that you put out. But that's really interesting. Uh, still have to get in the routine of stretching after exercising. Don't do yoga, but did visit an osteopath for a period of the year. I'm still not riding as much as I want, but sometimes things just get in the way. I mean, just look at December for me, everything, everything got in the way. And I barely got the chance to read. So I, I completely understand, uh, ride, not read. I completely understand where you're coming from. Uh, I was diagnosed with polymyaglia rheumatica last February. Apologies, we're trying to read that. After being in a huge amount of shoulder and leg pain, I'm on steroids for this and I've been able uh, to reduce meds during the last 12 months. Hopefully I'll be able to stop taking meds soon and want to remain pain free in the future. Hopefully a healthier lifestyle focused on some of the points in this comment will help. Uh, being honest, I do not know what that is. I'll Google it after <laughs> recording this video, but I wish you the best of luck with um, treating it and, and using the steroids and stuff. And it's good that you've managed to reduce your meds throughout the year. Um, hopes for the next year, get into the seas, ride more out outdoor sportifs, drink less wine, <laughs> which I'm hoping will also result in weight loss. Ride more often on Zwift to T2.5, T2.5, so that I can stay part of a great group who continue to motivate me and others. 100%, good luck on getting into that C category. We've A couple of us are now already have got that target in our minds. You're a lot closer than I am, that's for sure. Uh, and riding more outdoors is a, yeah, I like that. And then the drinking with, uh, we'll, drinking calories, I guess, drinking and booze and beer all contain calories and, but it's, it's good though, isn't it? <laughs> but good luck with those, uh, with those targets for the year, Daniel. Uh, Simon Greaves, thoroughly enjoyed the video, Matt, as always, and well done for what you did achieve in 22. A good start, not a great end to the year, but thank you very much. Uh, it's great to push yourself and have goals, but I think that can sometimes put too much pressure uh, on meaning you can totally fall off the wagon once it out, it's out of sight. That, I think, is a really interesting and, and quite important point in that sometimes, I, I fall foul of this sometimes. If I've got a target in mind, I really, really go for it. I'm really focused for a good few weeks. And the second a curveball comes in, I kind of, it throws me off. And then I see that goal in the distance getting further and further away. And I just think kind of what's the point? So rather than just getting back on it and realizing you're just a little bit further back from what you are, you just blow it out of the water and you end up miles away from what that target is. So yeah, I completely understand that. 
For me, in 23, I'm going to aim to join the T2.5 rides when I can, but I know it'll be tricky with work. And obviously, just get outside with the bike as much as possible, but I'm not going to beat myself up if I miss a few. Life happens. Again, brilliant point, life happens. Things get in the way. We're not professional cyclists. <laughs> We've all got families and, and things to get on with outside of riding our bike, as much as some of us like to be able to ride continuously forever. All the very best for a happy and successful 2023, uh, and I look forward to si sharing some of that with you. That is awesome. Good luck with your goals for this year, Simon. Le Fricolous. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Last year's goals were IRL in real life to complete a century ride, which I ticked off in September. Huge congratulations on that one. A century, is it a century kilometers or miles? Either way, that's a huge effort. 2023 will look quite different as we've started it by welcoming a baby boy. So my humble goals are just to maintain fitness levels as far as possible and place in top three in a T2 5 race in Cat B. Huge congratulations on welcoming the little one, uh, baby boy. I've also signed up for Ride London, so taking off another century would be grand. Yeah, so Ride London, interestingly, I'd signed up for that year. It was one of the things that I failed to do. I got COVID in March and it completely derailed um, my plans for that. I hope your plans go a lot better than mine did and that you really enjoy it. I hope you're in the ride uh, and you're not just in the in the ballot or I can't remember the ballot happens. That I just hope you're 100% in the ride uh, and I hope it really goes really, really well. Uh, and good luck in trying to get that third place in the BCAT ride as well. I so find some of the BCAT races are quite interesting to watch with people trying to break away and stuff. It's been very interesting watching their races. Uh, Kenneth Scramstad, cycling from Trondheim to Eilesund and the famous Tour de Dover Grenelle gravel ride. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering this. I, that unfortunately I'll need to have a look into what that means also think about cycling around my country more more or more og Romsdale and get into the C stroke B again again apologies if I'm absolutely mullering those names uh, and good good luck for, try, for getting back into the C's and the B's I wish you all the best I'm sure you'll hit those targets in 2023 David Stark last year I had aimed to do a 320 kilometer ride, which I didn't do, but I did manage 250. That's insane anyway. 320 kilometer ride, was that in one go? Or in split days? Either way, that's a huge effort. Um, and, but I only managed 250, there's no but in that. 250 is still a huge achievement. That's amazing. This year I'm aiming to lose and keep off five to 10 kilograms do a 320 kilometer ride and complete a sprint tri sprint triathlon. Wow, those are some targets. Um, well, I wish you all the best for trying to hit those. You've done the 250 kilometers. I don't know how it would feel going a little bit further and completing the 320 uh, and a sprint triathlon. Incredible effort. Good luck. Good luck with those. Colin Moore, Happy New Year, Matt. Happy New Year to you too, Colin. If I remember my goals last year were lose 10% weight, uh, actual was 3%, still in, heading in the right direction. Uh, make it to BCAT, succeeded for a while, but back in C, uh, just not. Uh, succeeded for a while, back in C. Uh, yeah, great effort to get there. I'm sure just a step back to go forward again. Get back into my running, success. That's good. Uh, I did, I tell you, I did used to run myself many, many years ago before I put on the majority of this weight. It's crossed my mind again because I've got a friend who runs, has been very successful, but I can't at the moment. It would absolutely destroy my knees at this weight, but I'm glad that you've got back into the running again. Uh, and the other target was the Everest thing, just nope. Um, New Year goals, get back to BCAT and stay there. Start swimming, swimming again, break 20 minutes for 5K run. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea if that's, is that a good, <laughs> I don't know running, apologies, but it sounds like a fast uh, fast target, so good luck with that. A V Everesting is on the list again, and the main event of a half, half Ironman triathlon end of June. Well, you've got a busy year, Colin. Uh, r running, swimming, riding, and a half Ironman triathlon 
you want to throw any VF roasting in there as well. I mean, I wish you so much luck with that. I love that you've got some such big targets for 2023. Banjo132. Hi Matt, 2022's goals were lose weight, uh, lose last two kilograms to hit my target weight, done by September. Awesome, well done. Achieve 300 watts in a ramp test, done in the second group ramp test. Again, awesome achievement. 300 watts FTP is brilliant. Win a tiny race series in BCAT. Third is the best that he did. Still, still an amazing effort. I've never done the tiny races. And I, but I've seen that they are absolutely insane. Maybe it's something I will do at some point. Are they still ongoing or have they finished? I don't know, but I'll, maybe I'll think about that. But you've got to really be ready to race from the off in those races. So third is still an, an awesome achievement. Uh, actually get a category what, what's per kilo for 20 minutes when adjusted to tonight, uh, 95%. Achieved in a trundle in December. Achieved in a trundle, that's, that's some going. Uh, targets for 2023, beat John Kerr at least once. <laughs> He's already done a, a good effort, good effort. John is a very, very strong rider. Um, won't be with us for a little while, but I'm sure when he comes back, he will be very strong again. V Everesting on the 6th of Feb and do the last Alp with Barnaby. That's his little one. That I love that, um, that target. 6th of Feb's coming up soon. I hope you're prepared, but good luck with that one and win an A category race. Again, big targets there. That's that's against everybody on Zwift, essentially. So really, really hope you achieve that. Uh, thanks for the videos in the group that you've created. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Um, yeah, I haven't created this group. You guys have helped me to create this group. We've just come together, like-minded people. It's been, it, it's amazing. I, I genuinely love the group. Uh, and the, the laughs we had and have the, the interaction on Discord and stuff, it's brilliant. Uh, let's go on to Stuart Sayer. Uh, Stuart unfortunately had an injury earlier this year or earlier last year has been out for a little bit while uh, so he says I missed all my 2020 goals work injury and laziness I'm not sure lazy is a word that I'd use for you Stu <laughs> you're a V Everesting or not V Everesting your actual Everesting last I can't remember what it, what it was uh, but oh, that shows that you're not lazy 2023 moving house get my fitness back to previous levels and get stuck into gardening. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. I've seen a couple of pictures of what you're doing on your garden. So uh, good luck with that and good luck on the recovery and getting back to where you want to be on the bike. Hope to see you in ride soon, uh, but all the best, yes, for 2023. Next up, we have Connor, Connor Shaw. 2022, what a year. Got married in January, congratulations. Got my dream job, firefighter, in the beginning of March. Congratulations again. Found out my wife was pregnant end of March. Got uh, Bought a house out of panic of having the baby. Do you know, we did the same. We did exactly the same. We found out we were pregnant, wanted to move closer to home, put the house on the market and everything moved really, really quickly. So yeah, I can completely understand where you're coming from there. Baby boy Charlie, born 1st of December. So just over a month old. Huge congratulations. Uh, good luck with all the sleepless nights and the nappies and everything else that comes with having a, a newborn baby. Uh, but enjoy it. Time absolutely flies. I cannot believe my daughter is seven. I genuinely cannot believe it. It's gone like that and she's becoming a bit of a teenager. I uh, kind of, yeah, look back on the baby years and think he just sat there and quite quiet and <laughs> good night, unless she was crying, obviously. But yeah, enjoy them. But also I wish you the luck for getting through them. Join my first T2.5 event. You did, yep. Uh, goals for 2023 include dropping from 240 pounds down to 200 pounds or 108 kilograms to 90. Good luck with that. Uh, I'll be trying to do the same as you. Start my side business of home inspections. Inspecting for what? I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's interesting stuff, home inspections. Go from a D-cat to a front C-cat racer. Complete a century and get the Tron bike. I hope you've got the Tron bike set up as your uh, the Everest challenge in Zwift already. Uh, but uh, last but not least, uh, catch up on sleep from having a newborn. There you go. Good luck to your 23, 23 goals. What a year, Connor. That is an amazing year. Getting married, moving house, having a baby. Those are all the big things that you do in your life. You've done all in one year. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, good luck catching up on that sleep and for your targets in 2023. On to next up, we have Jacko Hugaveen. Hi, mate. Uh, hi, Matt. Sorry. Last year's goals, a goal was to keep Zwifting the entire year and get to compete in the CCAT. Sadly, I did have several big breaks and didn't achieve my goals. Last November, Swift prompted me back to a CCAT rider and did block all category restricted D cat events. Uh, that was when the auto catting came in. Uh, so it essentially stopped you from, or now does stop you from entering rides from below what he f it feels that you should be riding in. It really demotivated me to keep riding, uh, finishing last in races. Uh, you might have seen my comments on Discord and Facebook. My new goal is to complete in CCAT. Hopefully I can maintain a 2.9 watt for per kilo effort at the end of the year. I'm not sure if I make it because I'm expecting my first child at the end of March. We'll see what 2023 brings. Another huge congratulations, another baby. Uh, I hope everything goes really, really well. Congratulations for that. Enjoy getting your sleep in now before then. And I wish you all the best getting back uh, to where you want to be that 2.9 watts per kilo and yeah I can understand the frustrations that that um, auto catting in Zwift brought in I thought I've not felt that because I'm nowhere near the sea cat level but I I fully appreciate that you can feel a bit demoralizing if it's forcing you into category and you're sat at the back may I mean maybe see it as a positive it's the ride you know every ride hang with that group for a bit longer a bit longer a bit longer and then before you know it, hopefully you'll be able to stay with them for longer. I, I guess see it as a chance to really push yourself and step up that next level, but I fully understand how it must be really, really demoralizing. But uh, good luck for everything uh, everything in uh, 2023, Jacko. We have, I think this is Julia. Julia, uh, a look back on 2022, joined T2.5. Uh, ran my first half marathon, ran a sub 30, uh, 30 minute 5k, rode 100k, upgraded to CCAT, hit sub 80 kilogram weight for the first time in my adult life. Well, that's a huge 2022, isn't it? Half marathon running, uh, running quickly, riding 100 kilometers and getting up to the CCAT. And your sprint level effort, when we come to any sort of sprinting, you can out sprint some really, really strong riders. Uh, and yeah, hitting that 80 kilograms. Uh, wait for the first time in your adult life. That's a huge achievement. So congratulations. On to the goals for 2023. Ordered in descending order in terms of difficulty stroke how feasible the goal is. I'm not expecting to hit every goal. Okay, so riding, V Everesting, a sub 60 minute Alp to, to it might be well, V Everesting. We've seen it a couple of times on the list already. I think it's a, it's a big goal for a lot of people. Uh, so good luck with that. A sub 60 minute Alp, uh, hit B cap, ride a century, 100 miles, uh, backpack, a bike pack in the summer, and sprint 1200 watts. You can't be far off a 1200 watt sprint. I'm not sure what you are at the moment, but knowing how strong you are, you can't be too far off. They are some big goals for the year, so good luck with those, but also running goals. Run a marathon, ride a couple of HMs, uh, run a couple of HMs, half marathons, got there in the end. Uh, don't give up on running. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. At least if you achieve that, that's a step forward. That's good. Uh, weight sub 70 kilograms, sub 75 kilograms will maintain the sub 80. So lots of very well thought through and ranging from difficult to slightly easier goals there. And I hope, I wish you all the best in achieving those next year, Julia. Good luck. Chris J, Chris Jupp. Uh, I didn't hit any of my 2022 targets. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Chris. Uh, targets for 2023. Reach ACAT and 4 watts per kilo FTP. I think that's something that is in, within your grasp, getting stronger and stronger by the day. Uh, ride over 300 hours. I had the target for 2022 and only achieved 170. Uh, ride more outdoors. Um, ride more consistently each week. A lot of my big week totals came from doing very long rides on consecutive days when the wife was away. Again, yeah, another note to that consistency. Um, completely understand it. I mean, you're a far stronger rider than I, I am, um, but the consistency is a difficult thing to stick to, isn't it? It's 
he kind of, as life comes in and out, and I'm sure a lot of the people on here that have commented with ch children and family and wives and, and husbands and all sorts, just trying to fit family life and turn it consistent, riding consistently for an entire year is actually, it's quite a difficult thing to do. So I wish you all the best, Chris. I'm sure you'll be a cap pretty soon, uh, but the best of luck for 2023. Stuart Dunn, 2022 cycling goals, Tour de Zwift, done. Tour of Watopia, done. Out to Zwift once per month, twice for the year, so nowhere near. FTP of 250 by year end, 200 watts, not looking likely for 2023 either. Still a good couple of things ticked off there. The Tour de Zwift and the Tour of Utopia are good things to get ticked off. Uh, and at least you got up the Alp twice. I know not quite the uh, the 12 times, but it's still a good target, a good achievement to get. I, I haven't ridden the Alp myself for... Uh, certainly solo for a very, very long time. And it's not something that's definitely at the moment, the way I'm cycling at the moment, is definitely not calling out to me right now. Um, 100 kilometer ride once per month, only twice for the year. Um, 5,000 kilometers for the year completed. I wonder how far you would have gone if you'd done, <laughs> they helped us with every month, 100 kilometers every month. Uh, that, that target would have been exceeded by quite some way, I would think. Tron bike only got to 36,000 meters, hopefully by March, 2023. Some good, most not yet, but a consistent year of cycling, so happy with that. Well, good luck for ticking off the rest of those achievements in 2023. Uh, and yeah, hope it goes really, really well. Um, and then we have John Karagi. Thanks for all the hard work, Matt. It's a fantastic community you've built here. Uh, lots of great people involved nowadays. It's been a tough few years for everyone for one reason or other, but together we're stronger and onwards and upwards for 2023. Thank you, John. And I'm wishing you all the best. I know you're, you're back home again now recovering. Hopefully that doesn't take too long, but take the time that you need because I know you like to push yourself slightly beyond maybe where you should be going, but I hope to see you back on the rides as soon as possible. One other person who I know what their target is for this year is Craig Finlayson. Tuesday Trundle, Craig Finlayson. His goals for the year are to do a V Everesting, another V Everesting. There's going to be lots of people in this group attempting that this year. Uh, and to do 100 laps of the volcano. That is an interesting and individual challenge. And I wish you the best of luck on both of those. And I hope you get on with your kicker bike once you, uh, once you get around to ordering it. We have Emerus Jones. Ride over 500 kilometers in a week. Tick. Ride over 750 kilometers in a week. Tick. Are they, I don't know whether these are 2022 targets or 2023 targets, and you've just started really, really well in 2023. Um, climb 25,000 meters in one month. Become an A-plus cat. FTP over 320. Some huge targets here. Five watts per kilo for 20 minutes. Six watts per kilo for five minutes. Get from 65 kilograms to 75. So you want to go up in weight. Put on a bit of weight. 15,000 kilometers this year. That is a big target. Uh, 50 kilometers a, a day, six days a week. Blimey, you've got some big targets you've set yourself this year. Start running, boxing and weights. Climb Penny Fan 52 times. Unfortunately, I, I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. Um, but climb me out 52 times. So that sounds like two times, two races, uh, two climbs every week. Travel to five countries and hike, cycle, or run while there. Jonesy. Well, that is that is some. Is that a 2023 target or a long-term targets? Because there are some big, num big numbers in there. I wish you all the best getting to those targets. Uh, and I know you're a very strong rider, so you'll get. Maybe you'll achieve them. Fingers crossed that you do. But good luck for 2023. Last one is from Matthew Reed. Happy New Year, Matt. Happy New Year, Matthew. Thanks for all your efforts over the past 12 months. Love the updates and great to see the community going from strength to thread strength. Best of luck for this year, whatever your goals are. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the community is getting really, really good. There's so much chatter and stuff going on on Discord now. It's so supportive. It's brilliant. We have a great laugh during the rides. Take the mickey out of each other a little bit. But it's all lighthearted. No one takes it too seriously. And it's just become a brilliant community. And I don't take any credit for that. I... I put out videos uh, that, to be honest, dropped off slightly towards the back end of the year, just because, again, things and time getting in the way. But the community behind the scenes and in, in, in Discord and everything has just been fantastic. Hopefully we can get a few more new people coming in 
as well, which sounds like a good time to move on to my targets for 2023. I've only set myself a few. Now, you, you know <laughs> from the last couple of videos, I am feeling pretty weak at the moment on the bike. I do feel like I'm getting stronger, but I'm, I've got a long way to go to get back to where I was. And I would have set myself a target of riding, um, as I did last year, every month further than I did that month in the previous year. I don't think, given that we're going into a Tour de Zwift month, I'm gonna beat the number of kilometers, given how slowly I'm riding at the moment. I'm actually gonna set myself a goal for six months. Those goals, as you know, last year I set myself a target of hitting every, or improving on every month in the previous year, distance and time. Uh, last year, January, as it is this year, is Tour de Zwift. I don't think I'm gonna beat that distance. I was a lot stronger rider in January last year than I feel at the moment. I feel I've got a lot more improvement to do. So I don't think I'm gonna beat distance, but one thing I can do is beat the time. So that is my aim for the first six months of the year, is try and get on the bike for longer time than I did last year in terms of hours. Hopefully that'll help me build up to where I was middle of last year and get me feeling quite strong again on the bike. Also, I wanna change my cycling slightly. I wanna maybe do a little bit more zone two stuff as opposed to jumping on and just pushing as hard as I can, which is gonna have the effect of lengthening some of the rides, especially in the Tour de Zwift, Tour of Utopia, those things. It'll take me longer to get round, but maybe some of the zone two training will benefit me more in other ways, endurance and weight loss and that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna aim for on the bike. I also want to try and incorporate some more strength training. Uh, I've got a couple of kettlebells that have just sat sort of in the cupboard for years now. Uh, and I know that I really feel I, I should be doing some more strength training. I sit at a desk all day um, for my job. I've got a sit stand desk, but most of the time I'm sat down. So I think just some, with the back ache that I had recently, I get it across the bottom and a bit across the back of the shoulders. I think I should just do with the, developing my core, but also the benefits that would bring on the bike. I'd like to be able to lift things easier as well. All of those things. So I think that's something I should try and achieve over the next six months as well. And also, I'm gonna say it, um, weight loss. I did so well last year. I haven't really jumped on the scale, on the scales, and I don't wanna know really how bad it is. So um, I know, and I know I've put a good chunk back on, if not all of what I lost last year, because I've had a bit of a disastrous end of the year in terms of diet and riding. So I'm not gonna set myself a goal. I'm, I'm going to set myself a target of just losing some weight. Um, and hopefully I'll get back to where I was. And as of Monday this week, I've actually gone back onto a low carb diet. I won't talk about that too much because <laughs> some people don't like that. Um, but it worked for me before and it didn't seem to hinder my riding. So I'm gonna do that for as long as I can over the course of the next six months and try and lose some weight. You might be asking the question, why am I talking about six months? Well, you may remember back last year, unfortunately, was it May time? Maybe a bit later, we suffered a miscarriage. Uh, at the back end of the year, we actually found out we were pregnant again. Everything at the moment, touch wood, is okay. And in June 2023, we're going to be having another little one. Nervous, a little bit, <laughs> because I'm a bit older than I would have liked to be, I think, from having a second one. But excited uh, and really, really looking forward to it. What comes with that is I have no idea what the second half of 2023 is going to throw at us in terms of time for riding, time for videos, uh, just all of that sort of stuff. So I don't wanna set myself any big goals to try and achieve outside of the first six months that I'll be able to do unless something happens, which is why I've set myself six months. It's also being completely open and honest, it's why I struggled at the back end of last year. We, because of the, the miscarriages we've had before, we have earlier scans than you would normally. We were in and out of hospital for scans quite regularly. I was getting a little, it's just one of those things that plays on your mind. Is the next one gonna be all right? What are they gonna find? Is it gonna be okay? And when I've spoken before, when I struggle, it, that wasn't a struggle mentally, but when I have things going on mentally, diet and everything else goes out of the window. Um, and that added on top of everything that was trying to happen in December as well, and it was November. And it just, 
it kind of took my mind off everything else and it was the only thing I was really focusing on. It was the next scan, is everything still okay? And as I said, touch wood, everything is okay at the moment. Next scan in a couple of weeks, where we will find out whether it is a boy or a girl. Really, really looking forward to that. I don't really mind. I did want a boy before we had my daughter, but now I love spending time with my daughter that I really don't mind what, which one it is. So that's, I guess that's my biggest goal in 2023. As a couple of you guys have mentioned in the comments uh, that you've had little ones or your little ones coming up um, or due this year, I wish you guys luck. And I know what, that it's the first few months I felt with our little one, it was just batting down the hatches and get through it. And then it seemed to get easier. And I think having had one before, as everybody knows, I think the second one, you kind of think, I kind of know how to do this now. So fingers crossed it goes okay. I'm looking forward to it and uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a really, really good 2023. Uh, I've, hopefully for you guys as well, it's a really good 2023. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. That's what my target is by June because I want to lose some weight. I want to be um, healthier for my children uh, and I just try and get myself back to where I was at least from last year because I felt so good August time going to my brother's wedding I'd lost weight not everything I wanted to lose lose obviously and I felt really strong on the bike I want to get back there in six months so that I can be ready for what comes afterwards but yeah I'm going to stop waffling on about that as usual a huge thank you to all the channel members going up the stream uh, screen right now if it's something you're interested in head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash target 2.5 you can also head over there and buy me a one-off coffee if it's something that you fancy just to support the channel but uh yeah if any of you if i didn't mention any of your targets or or what you're thinking for next year and you still want to let us know put them in the comments below so that everyone can read them and i'll try and respond to those as well but that is the end of this video. Good luck for 2023, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.